Welcome back to Learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create these typical organic chemistry hexagons. Obviously you don't have to use hexagons but if you want you need six corners and use the polygon tool right here. Make sure it's selected, go to object fill and stroke and you may want to change the stroke right here on the stroke style with the width. Afterwards once again make sure it's selected, go to path, stroke to path and now you want to use the notes tool. But don't just select it like this. If you now use this function up here for breaking apart the selected nodes, nothing is going to happen. So you need to select it so that they are somewhat highlighted. You can see it. But now it's deselected. Now it's selected. And then break it apart. Get rid of the fill and then hold shift, click on the color swatch to give it a stroke. Once again, select it all. Then go to path and break it apart. And now you can delete these. You might get a little bit of fragments right here. I've got one. It depends on what kind of cap you're using. So I'll simply use this one, the butt cap. But if you use a round cap, you might get different fragments. But in any case, we now have these lines. I hold shift and click on two and then hold shift and give it a green color. Red color and a blue color for the last pair. And now we'll create a circle, hold control when you drag it. Give it a stroke and a white fill. Adjust the stroke width. Ah, I'll use 20 again. And I use a white fill, you can see it right here. So can we make it snap now to the center position? Well, we need to snap enabled right here and we need to snap off the center of an object also active. Just press Ctrl D to drag copies out of there and position them to the other corners. Now you can select it all. Press Ctrl D and drag copies out of there. Well, let me rotate it first. So I delete this one. I select it all, click on it again, and now I hold Ctrl when I rotate it. And now Ctrl D to copy it. Don't hold any keys and it should snap right here so that the circles are in the correct position. And now you can use these basic blocks to build whatever you need. As I've said, the same approach can be used if you use pentagon shapes or whatever you need for your organic chemistry graphics. I'm fine with this one. Once you've got it all, select it all and press Ctrl G to group it. And this is how you can create these typical graphics using hexagons for organic chemistry. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.